Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of incomplete abortion. A young married female patient came with amenorrhea for three months. She had complained for pervaginal bleeding, severe lower abdominal pain for one day. There was history of using abortifacient drugs for induced abortion. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here's the picture of uterus in longitudinal section. You can see a tubular, irregular, distorted gestational sac at the lower uterine cavity. This is the normal site for the gestational sac, but it is now present at the lower uterine cavity. And you can still see that in transverse section as an irregular sac. In transverse section, it should be round, but it's now slightly irregular. From this image, it's not possible to measure the gestational sac diameter or mean sac diameter, which goes in favor of incomplete abortion as my patient was complaining about pervaginal bleeding. No fetal pole or yolk sac could be seen within this distorted gestational sac. So here the longitudinal section of the uterus showing this irregular distorted tubular gestational sac. So again another picture showing the longitudinal and transverse section of this irregular sac. So in summary, an irregular distorted gestational sac was noted at the lower uterine cavity. No fetal pole or yolk sac is seen. Now the take home message. Check the uterus both in longitudinal and transverse sections. If you can't get a suitable view of gestational sac to measure the gestational or mean sac diameter in a patient complaining for pervaginal bleeding, then consider incomplete abortion. In confusing cases, it's better to do a follow-up scan after one week to avoid overdiagnosis. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.